What's happening with NVIDIA's stocks? Today, let's delve into this company. I've already done a review on it. Let's take a look. Firstly, let's examine the volatility of this company. Very important charts. Volatility is increasing, which certainly affects its activities. Also, let's look at the volatility skew. Volatility skew can clearly indicate many things. We'll touch on strikes and everything else. First off, the company has certainly made a splash. Over the past few months, it has grown another 100%. And before that, it was growing very well, up 200%. Honestly, I didn't expect such a strong growth from it. But it has broken all records, all indicators. The question is, when will it end? Let's take a look at the volatility. We can consider volatility over a longer period. As we can see before the report, it had very high volatility. Then it dropped at one point, and now it continues to rise. Due to this, volatility has also increased significantly. Let's look at the volatility smile. By the way, on some strikes, as we see, the smile is flat. This bodes well for growth, but mostly if we look at more distant strikes, the smile tilts towards puts the downward side. Again, but with the nearest strikes, for example, in March, our smile is very flat. From this, traders infer that March will most likely not see significant growth but rather a neutral trend, and closer to summer, a more downward trend. That's the current position of traders. We can also look at how volatility has changed with this graph. But most importantly, I would like to draw your attention to the strikes and the open interest on them. If we add more strikes, as we can see, for calls, we have clear peaks. We have $500 there. Okay, I understand why $500. We also have $900 and a very large wall at $1,000. But most importantly, there are no puts beyond $1,000. Yes, there are no puts beyond $900. This says a lot, actually. And if we have them concentrated up to $1,300, we have a pretty impenetrable wall. Puts on options on volatility. This is $1,000. I fully admit that even Nvidia might target $1,000. What will happen then? It's unclear because the fundamentals here are absolutely not justified by the fundamentals. We'll approach evaluations a little later, but it's all on hype on volatility. I fully admit that Nvidia might touch $1,000 at some point. What happens next? Most likely this level will be final for it, or at least almost final. If Nvidia breaks this level, then of course the acceleration will be very serious because there will be a gamma squeeze. But again, it will end quickly because gamma squeezes usually end very quickly. But I have a strong feeling that we won't be able to surpass $1,000 a very good price. Yes, I fully admit that we might puncture it at some point. Let's look at its fundamentals. Well, what can I say? The company's market capitalization stands at $2.3 trillion. My friends, if you follow the world GDP, I want to say that Nvidia is in the top 10 by GDP. In fact, it surpasses many countries, more precisely most countries. But in terms of market capitalization, of course, it's not very accurate to calculate, I fully agree. But in any case, the situation is extremely absurd, in my opinion. If we take another company like Apple, we see that its market capitalization is $2 to $3 trillion. It's slightly lower. Apple doesn't feel very good right now as we see. But Nvidia and Apple in terms of market capitalization are almost equal. But let's look at how much pure profit Nvidia earns. It's $30 billion. At the same time, Apple earns $100 billion. You understand again what point I'm trying to make. No one denies the power of Nvidia. Yes, the company is very good. I have a graphics card from this company myself. There are no questions to Nvidia, of course very high quality product, but the essence of it is its exorbitant price everywhere. At the moment, the exorbitant price is excluded because of its very fast growth being evaluated. That is, the company will grow very, very fast, which of course is not the best moment. In my opinion, the company is currently very, very overvalued. But again, I remind you that the fundamental aspect does not matter at the moment. Yes, of course, in the long run, over the course of several years, it will have an impact. But as we see, Nvidia has been growing for almost two years, of course, on very good fundamentals. You can't say anything here. In the moment, of course, it does not matter. I fully admit that the fundamentals will not change and Nvidia may fall very, very sharply. So my opinion on Nvidia is that in the near future, I fully admit that it can still show some highs here. But in the long run, of course, I expect a correction. So within a few years, NVIDIA could face a very, very serious correction. I also suggest taking a poll dedicated to NVIDIA, where you think the company will go next month. Let's look at the volatility skew right away, what prices tell us. But again, at the moment, the volatility is very high, the prices are very expensive, and here you can play on reducing volatility. Once again, I said that this is purely hypothetical information. I in no way call on anyone to buy or sell shares in any case. But again, if you ask me, I would say that buying at the moment is very risky. This does not mean that it cannot grow to a thousand and it can grow to a thousand. But at the moment, I would be wary of buying shares because the risk reward ratio is not on your side. I would advise you to just stay away from it. And it doesn't matter if you want to buy or sell this stock. You will need to set a stop if you are a trader. And with such volatility, it will be very difficult to do. When it will end is hard to say. But as for me, everything sooner or later ends. A correction will happen will take place. 
we will go to new highs, although again, Nvidia is already very expensive. I fully admit that after some time, it will fall and for decades not rewrite this historical maximum as it will show. What an interesting strategy can be opened on the stock. Let's see what we can do here. Such an interesting strategy through options, but again, I will not open it because it is purely hypothetical because it will need to be managed well. As we believe in a fairly wide range, it is profitable without losses and it peaks you can earn quite a lot of money. If it suddenly goes down or goes up sharply, of course, it will need to be rebuilt. For example, as they added a hedge here, the strategy has changed a bit, but we do not incur colossal losses on the decline. Let's go back to Nvidia again. The company is very promising, very good, but not at such a price. Of course, at such a price, I would not buy it. Such prospects would not be here. But again, I admit it's upward leap, but I definitely won't play it back. It's better not to earn money than to lose money later. This is my opinion. I also advise you to watch my videos about the reaction Tesla. There I also built very interesting strategies. Bye for now.